Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to an economic weather report brought to you in association with ASB. Today we look at net migration to New Zealand. There's been a lot of noise about this in the last few months because there has been a big increase in net migration. And in July we saw a very sharp increase from a year ago, up to nearly 2,700 from just on 700 the same period a year ago almost quadrupling of a number. Now there's a couple of factors at work here. Firstly, fewer New Zealanders are leaving New Zealand to migrate, particularly to Australia. Remember we had that big surge before the election. That's really dropped off as it's harder now to get a job in Australia. Secondly, we're seeing a big increase in the number of Indian and Chinese students coming to study in New Zealand. Now they're here for longer than six months, which means that they qualify as as long-term migrants, but a lot of them leave, and certainly they're not coming here with a lot of cash. We are seeing an increase in the number of New Zealanders coming home, from Australia in particular, and also from the UK, but it's not as big an increase as we saw in those years after 9-11, when many New Zealanders decided they'd had enough of living in big cities vulnerable to terrorist attacks and come and live home in New Zealand. I'm in fact one of those people who came back I came back in 2004. Now some people say this big increase in net migration will help the housing market as more people come to live in New Zealand or stay to live in New Zealand, boosting demand for housing. And also that some of those people coming back will have lots of cash on hand to pump into new houses. That was certainly the case between 2003 and 2007. I myself was one of those people who bought some money back and bought a house. but. Not so many this time, not so many New Zealanders coming back, partly because there's not so many jobs to come back to in New Zealand. Also, it's harder for them to sell any house that they have in the UK or the US or Australia. And so they're not gonna come back with so much money. There's also the question, will they buy or will they rent? Or will they just come back to stay with friends or family? So this hope that the migration surge we're seeing will boost the housing market, particularly in this coming spring, we may not see that translate into such a big increase, although it will be somewhat of a factor. I'm Bernard Hickey. That was a special economic weather report on migration brought to you in association with ASB.